to my channel guys and yeah I think I broke my sewing machine just gonna come right out and say it I think I broke it guys and y'all know I love my machine my I, I love my sewing machine my little brother project runway CE 1100 PRW XYZ QP ABC 123 I love my sewing machine but I think I broke it. So this is what happened. I had a family event that was supposed to be semi-formal to formal, which I own no formal. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I have like two pair of heels. Okay, maybe three pair of heels, but, uh, but two of them I can only wear for like an hour max and that's it. And the other ones are like summer sandals. I have no dress clothes and so I was like well I can do this I know how to sell me and my pride went to the fabric store I set myself a budget a very modest budget but I set myself a budget went to the fabric store even told my friend like hey girl come on with me we can do this I got this I spent twice my budget I spent twice my budget I did not get the appropriate fabric for the occasion. I compromised and I picked up two fabrics. The first fabric I compromised, which was the main fabric. And um, the second fabric that I had was a fabric that I've never used before. And so when I got home and I laid everything out, I miscut my fabric, guys. I spent all that money on fabric, the wrong fabric, twice my budget is what I spent, and um, and I miscut it, and I was so disgusted, but I said I'm going to push through, and I pushed through, and I started sewing, and I was sewing with this new fabric that I had never sewed with before, and um, my machine was struggling, it was not having it. And I don't know where I went wrong in terms of um, the settings, the appropriate settings and the appropriate needle and all of that stuff. I, I honestly don't know where I went wrong. But needless to say, my machine was crying for help and I heard it making these weird noises. But I pushed through because I was like, I've got to get this dress done. If this is a family event. Like I cannot, you know, I can't mess this up like the clock is ticking and I knew I should have stopped sewing when I heard the but I kept pushing and kept pushing to my machine stopped sewing and it will not go up and down it will not do anything like I can plug it in the light comes on like I have power to my machine but that's the only thing it will really do right now and I'm really bummed so needless to say, um, I just had to get up out of my sewing room. It's been like three and a half weeks, guys. It's been almost a month since I've really been in my sewing room at the sewing table with my fabric. That dress, that half done dress is still sitting there after a month. My little machine is, is still there. My heart hurts because I love my machine. I love that little machine. Um, I've done everything with that machine. Anything that I've made in this house has been on that machine. And I should have just listened. I really should have just listened to the cries of my people. I should have listened to the cries of my machine and I ignored the sounds. So don't do that. Don't be like me. Don't do that. So that is where I'm at, guys. So if you have been wondering what's going on, um, yeah, I broke my machine. It, it's at a place where it needs to go to a professional shop. It's not something that I can fiddle with or finagle with. Um, so you will see some more sewing videos because my sister said I can borrow her machine, which is grateful. School is coming.
coming up. I know we're in July, but school's about to start for us, which means I need a first day of school outfit for my little one. So I'm, I'm going to be sewing. I'm going to find a machine somehow, some way, and make my baby girl her dress for the first day of school. So we have that that needs to get done. I have some other sewing projects that need to get done. I just need to get to my sister's house and borrow her machine or just pull aside some savings and say happy birthday to me and buy me another machine, which is probably what I would wind up doing. Guys, it's been crazy. This last month has been crazy. My heart is hurt. My poor baby, I just... I, I don't have the courage to deal with it right now. So, in any event, that's what's been going on. I have a follow-up video to show you guys that will be uploaded later today. It is footage from the beginning of the year with sewing project that I did. I just never posted. So, look forward to that. Y'all yeah, gonna know because I'm probably gonna be in the same clothes in that intro. Okay, so, y'all know what to do, guys. Pray for me. And we'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.